in our society. Born some time ago, a couple of months ago, one of our very young counselors, Sheldon Lal, you know, he bore, he bore in his mind, in his heart, something had to be done for the youths in our area, for the youths in the region of Pinal Devi, to uplift their spirits a little bit. Let's hear what's happening to the youths. Let's hear what you, the young ones, have to say about what's happening in Trinidad and Tobago. How do you believe that the Pinal Devi region can be uplifted by your ideas? This is where, from the vision of our Prime Minister, where we listen to the people, we listen to the young ones, we listen to the not so young ones, we listen to the handsome ones, we listen to the beautiful ones, and everybody is beautiful in their special ways. Ladies and gentlemen, I, not, I do not intend to bore you this morning with my, this evening, with my little commentary, but I want to get deep into the meat immediately. Alderman Ramkaran. Um, represent from SIS, the parent company, who are actually responsible to get a Brian, uh, Brian, Brian General Earthworks Company Limited. Students, not forgetting our very hardworking CEO, Mr. Raymond C. Paul, represent of various schools in our midst here between the Pinal Levy Regional Corporation. Uh, we have some on-job training who are here this afternoon to join with the Pinal Levy Regional Corporation in this prize awards function of this essay competition. I was told some of the subjects or some of the items was difficult. Whatever, the various schools that took part actually made it very, very easy for us in the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, students and principal of the various schools, you recall very well, I actually boast on many times indicating but in Pinal Debe, we have some of the most committed, dedicated principals and principals and teachers in Pinal Debe. Because you can recall very well, every single year, this corporation recently concluded its 11th awards function, 11th awards function. 
and it's not a matter of boast from the records that we receive from the Ministry of Education, 30%, 30% out of the 14 municipal corporation, 30% of the SA students came from Pinal DB. From Pinal DB, I want it also important, we have 45 scholarship winners that came from Pinal DB. And I want to tell you here, I couldn't believe it myself, that in Pinal DB, we have approximately 60 applications. University students want vacation, they want to come and do a sideline, but it's difficult or impossible to accommodate all the students at the same time. So Pinal DB, we are doing well in the field of education. We are doing, I only hope that tomorrow we can safely say, Pinal Devi, once more, top the country, top the country. So, today again, let me congratulate our sponsors. It's the first time that they are willing to continue sponsoring, sponsoring our students, our children, to ensure Pinal Devi achieve its goals and objectives. And I must mention here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, your councillors of the Pinal DB Corporation, we work as a team, as a team, to ensure whatever we do, we do it in the best interest of the electorate that we are privileged to represent. However, I must tell you here this afternoon, out of an allocation of $23.4 million, Pinal Devi was way ahead. We actually spent 98% of the allocation in providing the facilities and amenities to the people of Pinal Devi. And I want to tell you, it's a record at the ministry that here it is, we went right ahead, way ahead in trying to provide. I must tell you, there's a lot to be done. However, working together, and I must commend and congratulate without a shadow of a doubt our beloved Prime Minister, Lord Kamla Prasad Bissessa, and his entire cabinet and ministers for doing a wonderful and excellent job to ensure that Pinal Devi achieve its goal and objectives in life. So to you, the little students, we have recognized, we have recognized that they, on many occasions, the bullies and the bullying that take part throughout the length and breadth of this country. And we want to know from you, what can we do? How best we can able to address the situation of bullies can change their behavior. And of course, we can surely change. Let us seek the advice and the guidance of that ultimate authority, that loving God, as you understand him. And I'm positive sure, with the assistance of our parents, with the assistance of our elders, I'm positive sure that we can able to change our lifestyle. We can able to recognize the responsibilities as parents. What can we do to mold the lives of our children? And again, what Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist paradise. And we of the Pinal Devi Regional Corporation, right here at the Digiti Mod Volcano, JB Double Shed, very shortly from now, an arch will be built across the roadway by the Tourism Development Company. Welcome to Delhi, preserve our heritage an arch like St. James. And not forgetting the tourist attractions picnic site, another area of tourism, attracting tourism to Pinal Devi. And very shortly from now, the Bond Tree Trace Mod Volcano leading to a beach they call Lamochelle. Is Lamochelle Dip? Lamochelle Beach. It's a very pure, beautiful area real prime for tourism in that area. 
And last but least, we had another topic, and that is, apart from tourism, apart from the Buddhism, we of the Pinal Divi want to promote sports. I will not go into details and tell you how many recreation grounds we have actually convert to making sport in arena. But however, the latest, we have two projects like to get off the ground this year. One is a state-of-the-art recreation ground with all its facilities at Bibi, which is known as the Francis de Paul Recreation Ground. And on Friday of this week, at 5 p.m., at the Pinal Community Center, where we are inviting several, several stakeholders. The, the sport company of Trinidad and Tobago is another project by our beloved Prime Minister. Ten acres of prime land, that is the Petrotin Sports Run Clark Road. They want to convert that entire area into a sporting complex, just like Jean Pierre. Just like what Trinidad have, we would have it at least in Pinal too. So again, this meeting is at 5 o'clock at the community center in Pinal, and all is invited. Of course, we want the best in Pinal. So again, we are doing everything possible to promote sports in these parts. So again, let me take this opportunity to commend Councilor Sheldon Lal for negotiating with SIS. Again, they said no job is too small for them. They handle all, right? I'm not here to promote, but this you must commend them and congratulate them in the field of construction. So again, ladies and gentlemen, children, I said politician, hate to see a microphone. And I don't want to sit too long. So again, I'm seeing the Vice Chairman here, Councillor Roland Halls. Welcome, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I do open trust that in the very near future, I am positive sure that SIS and all its sponsors will have different category. And I am positive sure by the end of this year, we'll have another competition amongst all the schools in Pinal Devi. So thank you very much and may God bless us. For those very wonderful remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the time and I know you all get off from school at four o'clock, right? Three o'clock. Oh, four o'clock is when we stop work. <laughs> okay. So moving along with our program, I want to introduce a very, a very, a very hard-working individual. He can be considered a true local government practitioner, as most of his working life he has been dedicated to the system. Having begun as a checker at the Victoria County Council in July 1981, Mr. C. Paul has ascended through the ranks culminating in his appointment to the position as Chief Executive Officer in January of he has served in a number of municipalities and has now eagerly accepted the challenge of imparting his influence, knowledge, and experience to the region of Pinal Devi. It is with great pleasure I invite to, speak, to address us this evening, Mr. Raymond Sipor. Thank you, Chair. Um, Chairman of Council, Mr. Prim Jansuku, and other members of Council. Um, members of the administrative staff, members of the media, um, teachers, principals, parents, our honorary students, ladies and gentlemen. I am personally delighted to bring greetings to you this afternoon on this uh, signal event in the history of this corporation. Uh, I thank you, Oga, you know, for accepting the invitation to be here this afternoon. It's really a pity that we have so many empty chairs. But nevertheless, that doesn't take away from the importance and the significance of this event. I want to, first of all, express uh, commendations to Councillor Sheldon Lal, the chairman of our Youth Sport and Gender Committee, for this brilliant initiative. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the Pinal Davy Regional Corporation is a lot more than just 
uh, fixing your roads and building box drains and disposing of your garbage. Our responsibility, as we see it, has to do with improving the standard of living uh, of our citizenry. We are committed to that. And this particular initiative is geared towards impacting upon our young people because we see the development of our human capital as tremendously important in trying to change the way society is currently, the direction in which society is currently heading to. We believe that uh, an, a competition such as this would result in some change in the thinking of our young people. And this, this change of attitude and this knowledge being received as, as they were doing their research in, in, in putting together their essays will be able to impact and manifest in a change of behavior. It will lead to, we hope, patriotism and awareness and a tremendous concern for the environment. It would lead to social harmony. It would lead to the appreciation for healthy lifestyles. And it will hopefully result in a shift from deviant behavior that is so rampant today. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand committed to do whatever we can with the little resources that are available to us to do this for our people. As the chairman would have said, we have a lot to be thankful for. The statistics at our SEA examinations and really scholarships from the Cape results would show that penal levy is way above the national average. We do not want to take anything for granted. We want to do our part in the, to ensure that the results that have been received in, in the years gone by will be surpassed. Uh, before I go, I want to thank our sponsors for providing such very attractive prizes. I thank the presence of the media here. I trust that initiative like this would, would be something that would be followed by other organizations so as to inspire young people. And I trust that as we all anticipate the SEA exam results tomorrow, that you all will be well pleased with those results. I, 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 I just want to wish that um, you all enjoy the rest of this afternoon's proceedings and thanks again for being here. Thank you, CEO, for those very wonderful remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, my young ones, when you go to school every day, there's somebody that's called a sponsor for you. There might be mommy or daddy, there's a guardian. What does the sponsor do? Before you go to school, give you money, right? Right, you have spending money, you have lunch. They are the ones who have to get up early in the morning and cook. They are the ones who have to iron your clothes, prepare for school and everything, right? So for this competition now, we had some sponsors who came on board and were very willing to participate in this project that was proposed by Councilor Sheldon Lal. At this point in time, I want to really recognize Super Industrial Services, the members here present, representing the company, Mr. Darren Dabedin, he's the marketing manager. Give him a round of applause. And Mr. Ronald Ramlogan, the public relations officer. At this point in time, I want to invite the marketing manager, Mr. Darren Dabedin, to bring some remarks on behalf of Super Industrial Services. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, everybody. CEO, Chairman, Vice Chair, all the ones and councillors of the Tebe Pinal Regional Corporation. I am indeed very pleased to be here today in the company of such young brilliant minds as we honor those who will have chosen as winners of this competition.
On behalf of Super Industrial Services Limited, I would like to thank the Pinal Davy Regional Corporation for giving our company the opportunity to be part of this initiative in an effort to contribute to the development of students in Davy Pinal. There is a parallel between what the Regional Corporation has achieved here today and who we are as a company, which made the decision to partner with you all a very easy one. Super Industrial Services Limited has been a pioneer in the construction sector of the Point Dixas Industrial Estate, where we have built over 80% of the petrochemical plants over the last 35 years. And today, we are still responsible for the maintenance of many of the very plants that we would have constructed. As a result, we saw this as a natural step to be part of the first ever essay writing competition for primary school students in this region, and we do applaud the effort of the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation. We believe that the choice of topic would have allowed students to articulate their perspective on current issues that impact their lives and indeed our country on a daily basis while expanding their creative boundaries in the field of essay writing and critical thinking. To all the students that have participated in this competition, Super Industrial Services Limited congratulate and applaud you and your teachers on your effort, and I am sure that you would have given the judges a difficult task in selecting today's winner. We also encourage you to keep aspiring for greatness and never allow your dreams to be diminished because of one doubt in your abilities. You are the future leaders of this great nation, and we hope that in some way this competition will have planted a seed that will allow you to develop your minds and attitudes towards what can be achieved once you set your mind to it. Because for you all, the best is yet to come. I leave you today with two quotes by Mahatma Gandhi. Even a single lamp dispels the deepest darkness and be the change you wish to see in the world. On behalf of my company, Super Industrial Services Limited, I would like to thank you all for this opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. Davidin. Ladies and gentlemen, um, at this point in time, we would have had to hear some remarks from a member of parliament, Honorable Stacey Rupnarayan, and Dr. Tim Gopi saying, however, I am, I am informed that they are on their way trying to make it, if not just for a few minutes, as well as our Prime Minister, who is busy at this time but supposed to attend. Um, apologies on their behalf at this time, and we do hope that they still can join us, if not for a little or a few minutes at least. Yes, sir. Stacey, Stacey is on, on our Stacey of Nine. She is on her way, as I've been told. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to what we really came here for. I mean, let's talk business. We came here for what? For food? No, we came here for our prizes. Because we worked really hard, right? You worked really hard. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> the first topic that would have been judged would be regarding the youth senior village can you be can be seen idling on the road after school or getting involved in activities that are not benefiting to them the challenge was put out write an essay on the topic sports can uplift the youths in our community ladies and gentlemen the prizes for this category were as follows third place trophy and uh, trophy and school item voucher valued at five hundred dollars Second place, trophy and school item voucher valued at $800. And first place, a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Sheldon, I wanted one, you know. <laughs> and a school item voucher valued at $1,200. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Mr. Ronald Ram Logan to assist us in the distribution of the prizes. Third place, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, goes to Troy Rampasad of the Dana Memorial Vedic School. Excuse me, excuse me. In second place, Kiran Subaru of the Inverness Presbyterian School. So 
Congratulations. And this is where Councillor Shanti smiles. In first place, coming in at first place, who I'm going to borrow a Samsung Galaxy tab from and a school item voucher of $1,200, which I don't want any, but I want to borrow the tab. And here you can get some nice games on that. And a trophy goes to Miss Karina Bodram of the Pinal Rock, Pinal Rock Road Presbyterian School. I did the council did the Ladies and gentlemen, only fitting that we can thank you, Mr. Buj and Mr. Ramblogan. Let's give him a round of applause. I believe that, ladies and gentlemen, it's only fitting that now we ask Ms. Karina Budram to read her essay on sports can uplift the youths in our community. Karina. Good afternoon. My name is Karina Bertram. I am a standard two student from the Pinara Presbyterian School. My essay is entitled Sports Can Uplift the Youths in My Community. Sports Can Uplift the Youths in My Community. My community of Pina Rocker consists of people of various races and different age groups. The youths are between between the ages of 12 to 20 years old, after school, some of these youths can be seen rhyming and idling on the roadside. They are sometimes seen smoking and drinking, drinking and even cursing one another. I believe that this is unhealthy and unproductive for the youths in idle behavior. Can lead these kids to a life of crime. Football and cricket are the two sports that attract a lot of youths in the area. This sports, sporting can, games can uplift the youths in chain their idol behavior. Cricket and football can be used as a form of exercise to promote physical fitness. When children engage in physical activities, they will have a healthier body and a better quality of life. These sports can teach the youth how to respect each other and how to work together as a team. The the sporting activity can also help the youth to develop discipline, fair play, and represent respect for each other. The youth can become proper role models and inspire others in the field of football and cricket through our commitment and practice youths who engage the sports in sports can develop proper skills. They can represent the country at a higher highest level and make us make us proud. Sports can keep, keep our youths from bad company and a life of crime. Therefore, the authorities, both, priv both pu public and private companies, can assist the youths in becoming citizens. The group can organize tournaments and training sessions. These can ensure that proper equipment can develop in becoming excellent player. The authorities can donate gas uniform and prepare the ground for games. Community matches can help de drive the youths to excellence and hard work. Famous sporting personality can also visit and motivate the youth on the benefits of sports. 
I therefore take sports can move our youth from forward and uplift my community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karina, for a very wonderful job done. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on, the second challenge that was put out was about there are some students in your school who are bullies. The principal asked pupils to assist him by suggesting methods on how to handle this problem. So the challenge was put out. Write an essay on the topic, Bullies Can Change Their Behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, with similar prizes being awarded in the first, second, and third categories, in the first, second, and third places, I want to, I want to invite to collect their prizes now. Third place, may I ask Caitlin Batu of the Canaan Presbyterian School to come forward, please, and collect your prize. I would like to invite Mr. Darren Davidin to present the prizes. Thank you, Kathleen. In second place, Viran Mohammed of the Dana Memorial Vedic School. Thank you, Viran. And in first place, the school closest to Double Shed, Terry Gangadeen, Daily Hindu SDMS Primary School. <laughs> Goes home with a, Galaxy, a Samsung Galaxy tablet and a school item voucher of $1,200. And a trophy. And a trophy as well. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, sir. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Darren Davidin. Ladies and gentlemen, as protocol will follow, may I invite now Mr. Terry Gangadeen to read his essay on bullies can change their behavior. Yes, Terry. Sita Ram and good afternoon. My name is Terry Gangadeen and I I'm a standard five student from the Debian Hindu School. I am just going to recite a short story which I wrote for this competition. Bullies, what else do you think when you hear that name? Rogues, ruffians, fugitives, or criminals? They think everyone should be afraid of them just by their mass or size. They feel they can rule us, but it isn't so. They, in spite of being bullies, they too have a bright side. It can all be released just by one simple act of kindness and be embraced everywhere. The ways we could help bullies are countless, and I am just stating a few. These are some positive methods that may be helpful. You can try to get them into group activities or in social clubs. By doing this, they can learn how to co cooperate with each other, and this helps by forming a friendship. You can get one of their victims and make the bully and the victim talk out their differences. This helps by stating facts about each other, and they can try to change it. Another way you can try is to help them with their schoolwork if they are declining badly. You can try to make them feel important. This helps by making them feel proud of themselves. Those are the positive methods of how to stop bullying. Bullying mostly happens by bad role models or they have been physically abused by a bully when they were little and they thought it was right. 
If they don't feel comfortable talking to you, the government provides counselors to talk to them, or the police youth club can help them. They can help by giving them lectures on how serious it is, and they can look for other reasons on how to stop it and what causes it. They can tell them that sometimes they can even lead to suicidal thoughts. We can protect the children in our schools and make a better country. My dear principal, this is how this is going to be good for our society. And together, we can stop bullying. And I do wish you well tomorrow in your results. What school are you looking for? First place? Naps. Naps. All right. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on, you've been doing a project on tourism in your country, and you realize that Trinidad and Tobago is indeed a beautiful place. Because why? We're not leaving. The challenge was put out. Write an essay on the topic, Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist paradise. May I invite the Chairman of Council to help um, present? I invite the Chairman of Council to give out the prizes for this category. In third place, goes home Shivana Samaru with the, at the Debian Hindu SDMS Primary School for, with a voucher valued at $500. Come forward. Collect your token. Congratulations, Shivana. In second place, Narissa Emily Nanan of the Inverness Presbyterian School. And in first place, going home with the last, the last Samsung Galaxy tab, I'd like to invite Katie Bisnard of the Pinal Rock Presbyterian School. And a trophy as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Let's give him a round of applause. As protocol would have been set already, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like now to ask Ms. Katie Bisnard to read her essay on Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist paradise. Good afternoon. My name is Katie Bisnard. I am a standard four student of the Pina Rock Presbyterian School. I would like to read my essay on Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist's paradise. Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist's paradise. Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island republic in the Caribbean. The islands are a popular tourist destination and is seen by some as a tourist's paradise because of its natural flora and fauna and tropical climate. Some popular tourist 
destinations. Ladies and gentlemen, may I just announce and recognize the arrival of MP Stacy Rupnarine. Have a round of applause. Continue from where is now. Some popular tourist destinations include the many bays and beaches found across the islands. One of the most popular is Maracas Bay of Trinidad. It is considered by some the most beautiful beach on the island and is popular for its tasty bake and shark meal sold here. The Boca Reef of Tobago is another popular attraction. The reef attracts many scuba divers and sightseers each year. The Carney Bird Sanctuary is another attraction found in Trinidad. It is home to a number of birds, including the national treasure, the scarlet ibis. The Ministry of Tourism can help the tourist industry by investing more money in the tourist sector. Another way is by constructing more hotels and resorts to accommodate even more tourists. They can also help by educating and training people to work in this sector. The ministry can also help by making entry into the islands easier. This can be done by making airfare travels cheaper and by offering more attractive travel packages to potential tourists. Some benefits of tourism include the valuable foreign exchange owned by the country. The country owns foreign currency which can be used for trade or internal development. Employment is also another benefit of tourism as the industry employs large numbers of people in the region. The establishment of relationships with the other countries is another benefit. Countries can work together for the benefit of each other. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katie. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot leave here if I don't hear from one of our very hard-working members of parliament. She is no stranger to anyone, and she knows where you live. She knows where you live. She's been there, and she continues to be there very regular. And she people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure I invite the Honorable Stacey Rupnarine to bring some remarks and greetings to us this evening. Chairman of the Penal Davey Regional Corporation, Mr. Prem Chan Suku, councillors, all the men, I see we have some principals amongst us, parents, students. Let me say a very special good evening to each and every one of you. And let me also say that it is always a pleasure to be here at the Pinal Debi Regional Corporation. In fact, I had a graduation at the Tulsa Trace Hindu School this morning, followed by another graduation at the Laramian High School, followed by a number of persons still waiting to see me in my office. And my chairman said, you have to come. So I said, okay, fine, I have to come. So I'm here just to spend in a few minutes with you because my office is full and I really have to, to get back to seeing some constituents. I really want to say that in this Pinal Debe region, we certainly have a lot of talent in terms of our students and in terms of our schools. Let us not forget that last year, as we got the SA results, we had quite a number of students in this region placing amongst the top 200 in that uh, exam. And I would make special mention of Kaelin Ramlal from Gopi Trace falling in the Pinal Debe region. Kaelin placed second overall in SE. So that on the verge of um, getting these results, I think tomorrow these results come out. I want to say that I certainly look forward to some very good news from this Pinal Debe region. And we have to continue to encourage our children to encourage them, whether it is in competitions such as this essay writing competition. And I, I speak to, to my own uh, experience. I see the principal of my alma mater is here, the Diana Memorial Vedic School. And I recall uh, attending that school and having the opportunity to participate in an essay writing competition myself. 
I think it, it was with respect to Indian Arrival Day. And um, I placed first in that competition, and that is something that I always remember. So I know that these students who are here today who have received prizes will never forget this experience. And I still remember that essay or parts of it. And I know that you too will have a similar experience. So I want to encourage you to continue to do your best in whatever it is you do, whether it is in essay writing, whether it is in your schoolwork, whether it is in extracurricular activities, and so on. And um, I really want to congratulate the schools who continue to participate in these sorts of activities. This is very important in um, harboring some sort of team spirit amongst our children and some sort of competition amongst them as well. So for those principals, teachers, and parents who encourage your students in participating in these sorts of events, I say thank you very much. And I know, Chairman, that you continue to always have programs such as these in the Pinal de Bay region. And I will continue to support this initiative in whatever way I can. Thank you very much for the opportunity to spend a few moments with you. Thank you. Then just before a minister has to run back to serving the people, that's what we do here in this government, all right? I want to invite um, Ms. Anne Ramjiwan to collect on behalf of the Pinal Rock Presbyterian School, the school that went home with two tablets, right? Two tablets, I didn't get them, they went home with two. That place first in category number three. Come forward. Trinidad and Tobago, a tourist paradise. Category number one, I'm telling you they went to me two cut in two arm tablets. I don't know. Sheldon, you gotta talk. Um, sports can uplift the youths in our community. I'd like to invite Miss Rosalind Gunness. She's not here, you collect on her behalf. Excellent. Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, as we thank the Minister for her time, and we are very, very happy that she would have joined us, and she's still here just for a few minutes at least. And we do also have a little token for the Minister as well. If the Minister can join us, we just have a little gift for her as well. Shanti. That will be given out by Shanti, Councillor Shanti. as we move on, I want to come back to the third category. I know I'm mixing up the orders a little bit, but I apologize. Um, in second place in the third category would have gone to the Inverness Presbyterian School, Ms. Uh, Carol Lacansing. Is she here? Yes. To collect on this behalf, I'd like to invite um, Vice Chairman Roland Hall to give out this one, this prize. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you have an extra 
Baishi, I just have to step out for two minutes. I'd like to invite Councillor Dipti. And in third place in this category, number three, uh, Ms. Usha Rampasal Gokul. Yes. Representing the Debe Hindu SDMS Primary School, I'd like to invite Alderman Heisen. I'd like to invite on behalf of the Inverness Presbyterian School, Carol Lakan Singh, second place in category number one. I'd like to invite Councillor Vijay to give out this one, this token, this prize. On behalf of the Dana Memorial Vedic School, Indira Mberuju Daniel, forgive me for any mispronunciations, I'd like to invite Oliman Champa to give out this token. Thank you. Congratulations. As we enter category number two now, heading back a little bit in order now, on behalf of the Kedan Presbyterian School, Daniel Sahadeo. Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to invite um, Vice Chair. Sorry? Wesley Ramnad representing the school. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, in second place in this category, number two, Dana Memorial Vedic School, representing, in, um, we now call upon Indira Birju Daniel. Yes. I'd like to invite Alderman Ankran. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And in first place, the most luckiest school next to the double shed, Devi Hindu SDMS Primary School, Usharam Prasad Gokul. First place in category number two. Councillor Shanti, would you come and please present this token? Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our prize-giving ceremony. However, just before we leave, 
I want to invite the man of the moment, the man who, you know, had this was his brainchild. I'd like to invite Councillor Sheldon Lau of the Electoral District of La Fortune and Chairman of the Sports, Youth and Gender Committee to bring us the vote of thanks. Come on, let's hear it for Sheldon. Let's hear it for Sheldon. Thank you very much, Chairman. Chairman of Pinal Debe Regional Corporation, Councillor Premchan Soku, fellow councillors, all the men, media, principals, teachers, students, administrative staff, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good day to all. It is my pleasure to indeed say thanks to everyone who in any way responsible for the success of this competition for which we have just awarded prizes. I must say that whilst all the students produce excellent essays which deserve being winners, the criteria attached to the marking of each topic made it a hard task to choose the first place in each category. However, the secondary school teachers who assisted in marking these essays were able to get the job done efficiently and in all fairness according to the marking scheme. I sincerely wish to express my heartfelt thanks to them all for a job well done. To the primary school teachers and principal and even parents who motivated and encouraged the students to write these pieces. I kindly say thank you. Hoping that the future more students will be exposed to these kinds of competition and as such be able to further develop their writing skills. To the students themselves, I say thank you for your effort and for being a part of this essay writing contest as I am sure that the choice of topic will have exposed you to the new and exciting information about your country, community, and how we can all work together to raise the level of patriotism in our country's youth today. To the companies and individuals, namely Super Industrial Services Limited, commonly known as SIS, Bryan General Earthworks Company Limited, and Premier General Services Company Limited, who willingly sponsored trophies, prizes, or kind to the reward of our students for the outstanding essay, I say thank you and most kindly for your generosity. I would like to say thanks to the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation, the CEO and his administrative staff, the entire staff of the Chairman's Office, fellow councillors, all the men. Finally, I wish to sincerely thanks, thank the Ministry of Education and those in authority who granted me permission to host this competition and as I am certain that they too will have viewed it to be a worthwhile and educational venture to our primary school students. Today I express my sincere thanks to the media as well who is present here today. Thank you very much. If I have left out anyone, please accept my apologies. And as this was not deliberate, but know that I commended and thank each, everyone, each and every one of your, for your contribution towards making this essay competition a success today. I say thank you and God bless you all. You know, his eyes are a little bit watery there. You know, very emotional fellow, very loving and caring guy. You know, um, if you get to know him, he just looks big like Hulk, you know, but he's very soft at heart, you know. Thank you again. Let's give Sheldon a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my job here now to just say a special thanks again for coming out. Um, um, we have a little few minutes again before curfew, so you all don't have a rush home as yet. So I will just perhaps... Because